South Asians have shit genetics when it comes to bodybuilding. We are skinny fat, it's hard for us to build muscle, it's hard for us to lose weight, especially in certain areas of our body, in our chest, lower waist, lower back. There's a lot of areas in our body where it's just so hard to lose weight and a lot of us are predisposed to just being skinny fat. No matter how hard we train, no matter how strict we diet, it just seems to be that we are at such a disadvantage when it comes to genetics on a bodybuilding level. Let's talk about South Asian genetics. When I first started training, I was skinny fat. I thought that it was just a phase in my life. It was a phase in my weight loss journey um, to be skinny fat because I had just started lifting and the more that I lifted, I thought that I would, the skinny fat, the genetics would sort of solve itself out and I would have a good physique. And to a certain extent that was true, but the more I looked into it, the more I looked into why I was holding fat in certain places in my lower waist especially, and especially in a lot of South Asians, we tend to hold weight in our lower waist and in our tummies, in our chest. And this comes down to our genetics. And you've probably heard it. If you're watching this, if you're South Asian, you've probably heard that genetically, we are at a disadvantage when it comes to genetics. I wanna talk about this. And I wanna talk about how I accidentally overcame this. How I overcame this genetic predisposition of being South Asian. I am South Asian. My parents are from South India. So, you know, technically on paper, I should have really bad genetics when it comes to bodybuilding, but how did I overcome this? How did I overcome this predisposition to have bad genetics, to have increased insulin resistance, predisposed to type 2 diabetes? As you see, India is one of the unhealthiest countries in the world right now, up there with the United States of America, Australia. India is up there when it comes to type 2 diabetes, when it comes to heart disease. And let's talk about this. Now, it's pretty interesting why this actually happened, why genetically a country like India, when you look at the history of India, at some point before colonization, we were one of the healthiest countries. We had, you know, the healthiest practices when it came to Ayurvedic medicine, when it came to yoga, when it came to a lot of the food practices, a lot of the foods that we were eating, we were one of the healthiest countries. And then colonization happened and it's pretty interesting when you look into it, the history of colonization and how it affected us genetically through famine and how our bodies adapted to famine. It made us predisposed to insulin resistance and to higher levels of type 2 diabetes because how our body stored on to energy. And the reason I overcame this is because I am plant-based. I am vegan. Honestly, that's all it is. And when you look at every single study that went into insulin resistance and how to reverse insulin resistance, how to reverse type 2 diabetes, it always comes down to plant-based whole foods and having a low saturated fat diet. And that's what I did, accidentally. I went vegan five years ago. And when I went vegan, I did a lot of research into it and I found that a plant-based diet high in carbs, high in protein, because whole food plant-based protein sources are naturally high in carbs and naturally high in protein. And if they're naturally high in carbs and protein, they're naturally low in saturated fat. And if I were to hit my caloric goals of 2,400 calories, and I had to get those from whole foods plant-based sources, then my diet was naturally going to be high in carbs and protein and low in saturated fat. And I did that accidentally. I mean, I didn't go plant-based just because of insulin resistance, just because of you know any sort of health um, benefit that it had. I've been a vegan for the animals. I watched a documentary, I got a pet dog, and it sort of traumatized me, and I just couldn't eat meat or dairy after that. And now when I look back, that's one of the best things, that's one of the smartest things that I could have done for my body for my genetics. And when you look at my transformation, you can see that I gained all of that weight during the pandemic on a plant-based diet, on a vegan diet, but not a whole food plant-based diet. 
it was a vegan diet and it was unhealthy. It wasn't whole foods, it was junk. A lot of vegan junk, a lot of vegan sweets, desserts, a lot of high, highly processed foods. Just because you're vegan doesn't mean you, your diet is going to be healthy. And it showed because I gained so much weight on a vegan diet. Because morally, I was a vegan for the animals, not for the health benefit. And when I've realized, when I started my weight loss journey, I decided to go whole foods plant-based. I mean, what other option did I have? If I wanted to go healthy, if I wanted to become healthy and lose weight, I had to follow a whole foods plant-based diet that kept me full. And every study till now shows that a whole foods plant-based diet is the healthiest diet to follow. There's no nutrients that you can get from meat, from dairy, that you can't get from a whole foods plant-based diet. And by following a whole foods plant-based diet, I managed to overcome any effect of insulin resistance in my body. And I did this accidentally. I didn't face any problem whatsoever. And I didn't even know about, you know, the whole genetics thing. I just knew that I had to eat right and I had to train right. And a combination of these two things, following a whole foods plant-based diet that's naturally high in fiber, that's naturally low in saturated fat, along with a consistent training program, exercising at least three to four times a week, these two things completely changed my physique for the better, completely changed my genetics per se. I was able to overcome this genetic predisposition that, you know, apparently South Asians are supposed to have. Now, my parents have type 2 diabetes, my dad has type 2 diabetes, and so naturally I knew that this was a possibility at that when I first went vegan and honestly it was the last thought in my mind I I didn't go plant-based because I wanted to reverse type 2 diabetes I wanted to prevent anything it was mainly for the animals but the more I looked into it the more research that I did into a whole foods plant-based diet it just made me more confident made me realize the benefits of going plant-based whole foods plant-based and I'm going to emphasize whole foods plant-based because when I say plant-based, that could mean anything. Just because you're plant-based, as I said, does not mean it is healthy. So by f doing these two things, exercising and eating right, I was able to overcome this disposition. So if you face this, if you feel like you know, you're gaining weight in a particular area, you feel like you, no matter how hard you train, no matter how strict your diet is, you're not seeing any progress and you want to blame this on genetics, do not blame it on genetics. I mean, genetics has a big part, but by blaming it on genetics, use, it's not going to get you anywhere. Don't blame it on genetics, use it to your advantage. And what I did is, even though I would say now that I have significantly good genetics for bodybuilding, during, even now when I train, I train like I have shit genetics because it pushes me to train harder. It pushes me to stick to eating healthy harder. Because if I have to train twice as hard as you know, someone who's not South Asian, who has good genetics, just to have the same result as them, for me personally, that is the most motivating thing possible. Like that drives me like crazy. I am a very competitive person. And by thinking that I have average bad genetics, that's, that's a positive, that should push you, that should motivate you even like more than you know anything else because you can overcome this, it's going to be hard, but you have to make a significant change to your lifestyle and to how you live. And I do promote a whole foods plant-based diet, not just for the health benefits, I always emphasize the health benefits are a bonus. Do it for the animals and then you'll realize the health benefits of going whole foods plant-based. So following a whole foods plant-based diet has completely changed my life, completely changed my genetics. And as you can see, honestly, I had no issues. I mean, I just kept going and kept going. I was being consistent with my training, consistent with following a whole foods plant-based diet. And that's what got me to where I am today. 
a whole foods plant-based diet is rich in antioxidants, is really good for your gut microbiomes, low in saturated fat, high in fiber, and it is just genuinely the best diet you could possibly do, especially for bodybuilding. And why I say this is because it's so calorically dense that you can eat so much food and still feel full. And it reverses insulin resistance and it reverses type 2 diabetes. What more do you need to go plant-based? Every study has shown that a whole foods plant-based diet does these things. So that's honestly what I did, accidentally. I did it for the animals and the health benefits benefited me more than anything. So if you, f if you feel like you have shit genetics, if you feel so discouraged because of how disposed we are to insulin resistance, to being skinny fat, to not being able to lose weight in certain areas, then you have to you know, think about your lifestyle. And I say this again, as South Asians, we had one of the healthiest, we do have one of the healthiest cultures. We have such a rich history of living healthy, of eating whole foods, plant-based diet, exercising regularly, yoga, Ayurvedic medicine. And a lot of those things that we used to do back then are starting to come up in Western medicine right now from ashwagandha, from to the benefits of turmeric, to the benefits of fasting. All of these things are things that we have been doing for thousands and thousands of years and now the benefits are coming out. We have been doing these things and all I'm saying is go back to your roots. Indian diets were rich in whole foods plant-based. Things like dal, channa, like chickpeas, things like legumes and all of these foods that are so rich in protein are the best things you can put in your body. So if you feel like South Asian genetics are naturally predisposed to having these things, then change, change that. Don't just live in that discouragement, thinking that it's always gonna be like that. If you think that you can never change, you'll never change. Change your lifestyle, follow the evidence, and I'll have everything linked down in the description box down below. All the studies that points to a whole foods plant-based diet being the best for you and change your life, change the way that you live, change your diet, and then you'll see your body change.